Hello everyone, assume you're using Jira and Azure DevOps for your software development and you want to integrate both of them together. Let's jump from the very beginning and create an issue in Jira and name it Azure DevOps for Jira Rocks. Very simple name. But of course, we do want to implement something here. So we'll create a feature branch to begin with, assign it, and let's, let's roll. So we create a feature branch. For this, of course, we will use our issue ticket add them in the feature name. So here's my project, which I worked on. Here's the repo, here's the main branch, and here's the potentially feature branch name, the Jura DevOps for Jira rocks. Let's create the feature branch. And now we can do some changes. Of course, so let's do very simple changes time is at another exclamation at another exclamation mark. So let's commit. And of course, for the commit message, we must use our Azure DevOps issue key. You can see Azure 10. And of course, we have a feature branch and everything. So we push our commit here. And for this, we don't want to create a pull request. Very simple and easy. Let's jump and refresh the issue. So to see if we received all important things in Jira. As you see, the issue was moved by Jira Automation just recently because we had some commits. And of course, we have our pull request and it's open and we have our branches. So let's now roll and finish our feature work. Of course, we merge our pull request and jump into Jira. And let's see what it brings us. So we do have a web plan which we'll review shortly, but at the end, in our issue, you can see that our pull request was merged and our build has started. So for these builds, we have the following pipeline. So let's open it and review it together. So we have a few steps which are in parallel. Of course, we run functional acceptance tests, but then afterwards automatically we deploy to a test environment and we deploy to another production environment using our YAML pipeline which we review at the end. So as you see here, of course, Currently, we are running some builds before we do our deployment jobs. And as you see, it was merged and of course, it was more to done. But at this point, our builds are still running. OK, so let's review this. So we need to refresh and see if Jira gets updated. OK, it's coming. So it's coming. So the build is still running. Deployment is still here. Of course, Microsoft sent this data with a small delay. And of course, at last in all the displays it with a small delay. So let's see if it's here. Okay, after a few seconds, we can see that our builds are finished. They're shown here as builds and our deployment job for test environment is still in progress and production has started. So theoretically, if we refresh the page now, we may even see the latest builds. It's fully asynchronous, so it, it, it doesn't sync straight away in the same second. But as you see, at this particular moment, we have our test built as a successful and our production build is kicking in. It's not started yet, but it, it will start shortly. Okay, it started. So we can see it's rolling. Let's refresh the page and see if we see it in Jira. So our development team is happy to see that the issues are moving along and deployments are happening. Okay, we see the production deployment is in progress. And the testing one is successful. So here's our test name. A stage name in his or production environment name as well. By the way, if when you play with an app and you see that your environment is not picked up correctly, feel free to reach out to support and usually we deal with things within hours. Okay, as we see, both of builds have successful states, they finished. So now let's review our pipeline, how it actually looks to help you as well understand a bit more. So as you see, it has a few stages. One is functional test, another one is acceptance test stage. And then we have test deployment, which depends on those two previous two stages. And we have job preparation when we prepare for deployment. And then we have actual job deployment, which contains deploy as part of the name. So this is the only way we can determine if either a job ID or job name have deploy as part of the name. And here it comes the production. The same we have preparation and then we have production deployment. So it's a very straightforward pipeline. We actually don't know what's going on inside. We only re rely on Azure DevOps. API notifications. So if you have any questions or you need help how to enter Azure DevOps with Jira, please reach out. Don't hesitate. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more new cool content.